Some of these toys I love and others are come with a bit of a warning, okay? So let's start with the warning one first. This is an example of a little ball that you could like cram some little biscuits or treats in, right? But what do you think is wrong with this? The problem is that this rolls. And so if your dog is lying down and they paw at this toy to try to get whatever's in there out and this thing rolls away, what are they gonna be apt to do? Chase after it. We don't want that. So when you choose toys to stuff, do ones that will not roll away. This would be an example of one that doesn't roll away. It kind of like wobbles around. It's got a little receptacle in there where you could cram stuff in. So this is an example of a toy that is safe to use. Here's another toy that won't roll away. It's got little holes in it and you can unlink the segments and fill it up with stuff. This is a good choice to keep your dog occupied. This one saves me every single day. Kong. They come in red, which is for dogs that don't chew so heavily, and then the next version up is a black Kong, which withstands tough chewers. Another option is marrow bone. Now, these should be uh, gotten from the United States. If they come from China or any place overseas, I don't recommend that you get them. The nice thing is you can fill these and freeze them. Now, if your dog is an aggressive chewer, I don't recommend this because they will be really chomping at this and it can injure their teeth. The last thing we want is another vet bill, right? So if they're licking it, okay, fine. But if you notice that they're really crunching it, take it away, avoid an injury. And now these are from Licky Mat. I love these things because you can spread them with pretty much anything. Peanut butter, plain yogurt, uh, you can use, um, chicken broth and then just freeze it flat. If you freeze it, they last a little bit longer. So they come in different sizes and with different patterns, obviously little dog, big dog. Here's a bowl shaped one. So a bowl shaped one is good because you know, you can sit there and uh, again, it won't roll away. So this is a nice option too. This is kind of one of their newer um, designs. The thing you have to be aware of with Licky Mat products is that if you spread it with something really delicious like peanut butter, then your dog might lick the peanut butter and think, eh, heck, I guess I'll just eat the licky mat too. If you look up videos or pictures of destroyed licky mats, they are plentiful. And if your dog is an aggressive chewer, they might think, well, all right, the peanut butter is gone, the yogurt's gone, I've finished that, I'm really bored, I guess I'll just destroy this thing now. That's what my dog would do. So licky mats have to be a supervised toy. And the last thing I wanna remind you guys of is if you're using something like peanut butter, you don't wanna use peanut butter all the time for all the different treats because it is a high fat food. And so when our dogs have too much fat, they can be prone to a condition called pancreatitis. And that is a very serious thing. So peanut butter, a little goes a long way, okay? Now, when you are giving peanut butter, I wanna remind you again, no xylitol. You want one ingredient, peanuts, that's it. Another thing to consider with peanut butter or any other high fat spreadable thing that you're gonna use in these food treats is that the more fat, the more it wants to come out the other end as diarrhea. Our dogs are already struggling with their GI systems because of the antibiotics. And then you add in this really fatty, rich stuff that they're not used to eating, and then you got a mess on your hands, okay? So if you wanna use things like frozen blueberries or something, and you wanna fill up um, something like this with some yogurt or some applesauce or mushed bananas and peanut butter, and you wanna stick some berries in there, blueberries, you might not wanna do that. Why? They stain everything, okay? So this video hopefully gave you some ideas about safe treats that you can use to occupy your dog's mind while they're recovering. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and I'd love to see you in the next video. Talk to you next time.